Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group exercise class. If you are joining us for the first time online and on YouTube, welcome. You will need a straight back chair without arms, a pair of light hand weights, a tennis ball, a larger ball, and always have some water if you're exercising. I invite you to have a seat in your chair, um, wherever that might be. Uh, toward the front, allowing plenty of room behind you. So you should have some space so that you're sitting upright, and nice and tall, your feet flat on the floor, um, your hands on your thighs. Take a deep breath through the nose. Out slowly through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Relaxing the shoulders, allow the head to drop forward and then lift it up. Back to that neutral position, tilt it to the side, a lateral stretch and now to this side, center and down for a slow circle. change the direction. These next few exercises are meant just to warm up and look up and center and side to side. And forward and up. Back to neutral. <laughs> All right, and roll the shoulders both directions. Shoulder shrugs up and down. And then arms out. I think we don't have problem with spacing. <laughs> and then move those fingers. Just a little help, Mary. <laughs> and then stretch them out. Tapping each finger to the thumb. Okay. And then extend the fingers out. Pretend to scratch something. Two, three. Four, four and five. <laughs> and a wrist roll. Make sure that your feet are nice and wide on the floor, about shoulder width apart. Reverse the circle just for balance. Good. And then we come to rest here. Don't hit each other. Circles of your choice. Just warming up the shoulders. Good. The other way. You got lots of room over there, Sandy. <laughs> and straight up, we're going to reach for it. It's one, one and, and two. two. Look up. And three. three. Stretch and those fingers. Four. And one more. Five. Great and job. And the hands now to the side. Flex. Bring it in and One, out. Two, two three, three, four, five. five. They come to rest on the chair. One is off and overhead for a stretch. Good. And now stretching up and over. Good. The arms crossed. Twist. And to the other side, twist. Back to center where those hands rest on the chair. The weight shifts. The opposite hip is up. And two. two. And, and three. three. And, and good. Four. four. Lift it up. And One more. Five. And, and we're going to take it into a walk or a march. <laughs> Lifting those knees, moving those arms. where we started. Please reach down and grab the weights and the grip that we use is a soft but a firm grip. 
the elbows are tucked. We're gonna start with a bicep curl. So sit tall as you raise it to the shoulder One, and down. Good, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, 10, eight. and down. All right, take a break and breathe. You owe us one, Dave. <laughs> Again, second set. One, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. And drop to the outside of the chair legs. Slouch. What? Yes. Oh, yeah. Drop your head and allow that extra weight in your hands to gently pull at the spine. And then slowly lengthen the spine, sitting taller and taller and taller until you're all the way up again. And the chin usually ends up here, so we want to tuck it a bit. And then rotate the shoulders forward. Rotate back. Good to neutral position with one up and the elbow tucked. Drop it down and try to find that floor. Good job. And then come up, change to the other side. You got it. Nice. And here. We're gonna do a little out of sync things right now. So instead of putting them down, we're gonna keep them or we're gonna do some overheads. So. If this were one long extended pole, it'd be parallel to the floor, the fingers are on top and the thumb close to your face, right? So we're not holding it here, we're holding it this way, straight up. One, one turn them around, Mary. Two, two there you go. Three, three four, four, it's easy to do. Five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight nine wow ten. ten great job and take a break breathe and stretch yeah. again we find that position right there the pull back all the way up one, one good two, two yes three, three four one, five six, six seven, seven eight, nine, ten, and down. Great job, and placed on the floor, we'll take a little break. Feet together, and the knees together if you can. Make sure those weights are underneath your chair. And again, we do move around a little bit in the chair. Make sure that you feel safe, but centered. And the arms are crossed, Eyes off the floor, extend the legs and lift the feet. It's flex point. Two, three, three four, five, five, good. Six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, eight, ten. ten. Alternate. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Good. And down. Separate the feet, uncross the arms. One weight, both hands. Wrap them straight up. The shoulders relaxed. The weight drops to the back. Make sure you lift the chin. And it's up, One, down, two, two. Good job. Three, three four, five, six. six. I see you. Seven, Seven <laughs> eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Take a break. Straight arms, shoulders that are pressed down, the weight drops to the back, and then it's up. One, two, two good. Three, three four, five, five six. six seven eight nine ten great job and down placed on the floor 
toward the front with a leg extended and a foot that is forced to maybe feel the floor and glue that sole to the floor. The hands sliding down the leg, reaching from the hip as far out as you can go. Good, and then drop your head. Come up slowly. That feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could just stay down there, untie and tie your shoe. <laughs> and then drop into it. Perfect, and come up. The leg comes in, same thing on this side. Wanna force that foot to stay close to the, sh the floor. And then up and over. Good. Drop your head, relax into the stretch. And come up, good Bob, and up. And again, reach forward, stretch. And up, very nice. And we're gonna take another stretch. It's a little different position with our legs. It's wide. So shift your weight. Find what position you can keep the knees in line with the feet and the arms are out fingers spread apart with a hand that's supporting that leg straight up. And we're gonna turn to that arm that's in the air and then reach for the ceiling, look up at your fingertips and then glide this one down toward the ankle and the floor and hold. And then return to the center, nice job. Same thing on this side. Stretch it out. Good. And again, center and the arms drop. Pivot back to the center on the heel and the ball of the foot and the heel and back into that position. The arms are crossed. Tall in the chair, we're gonna do heels out and together, toes out and together. Heels out, good. Toes out. Heels out, toes out. One more. Great job. And back into this position. So take a deep breath. Exhale. Woo. And we're gonna come forward just a little bit more, taking a little bit more of that leg off of the seat, both legs out and crossed. So make sure that when they're crossed, they're kind of in that midline. They're not here, you're off center, but right like that. And the hands, if you have a, a side seam on your pants, that's where those hands go. So you wanna open the chest. This is all about core. So we're gonna lean back, make sure you have room to do that. Lean back a little bit and stop right there. And then looking forward, you're gonna slide one arm down while you lift the other one and then bring that one up and slide the other one down. Good. And again, working the oblique muscle, that waistline, good. And center, you're gonna come all the way up, place the other foot on top, tall in the chair, find that seam, bring it up about to your thigh, and then lean back a little bit. Open the chest. Go to the other side first, drop that arm, lift the other elbow, and then stretch it. This is one of the most difficult ones that we do. Do you agree, Jane? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes. And then again, center like you had a string, something's pulling you all the way up. Separate the feet back into this position. Nice and flat, fingers apart, and the hands are here the elbows stretch to the side. You're gonna tuck the chin round the back as you bring the elbows to the center. Maybe you can even touch them. Go down into your lap and then come forward as you lengthen the spine, the elbows open, the chest lifts and the head lifts. So you end up here. We're gonna do it one more time. Round the back, everything into a ball Come forward as you lengthen the spine, opening up the elbows and lifting that chest. Good job. 
So again, that's working your spine. We're in a good position to just drop those arms. Lori, can you see from where you are? Okay, good. All right, sitting tall, we're gonna lift a knee and it's a flex foot. Extend the leg, it becomes a pointed foot. Bring it in and Two, out. Three. three. Thank you. Four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. trying to kick me. Eight. 10. And down. The width of weight shifting slightly. The other knee is up and out. One, two, two, good. Three, three four, four. Slam on five, the brake. Six. six Seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. You know the tennis ball? Grab it, please. If you're at home, um, you can just pretend if you don't have one or something that you can substitute with. So we're going to work opposition or reciprocal movement. So pretend only. If you're right-handed, you're gonna throw forward, lifting your left knee. So it looks like this. One, we're gonna transfer it to the other hand, throwing forward again. Two, transfer. We're gonna throw to the side, so we have to look that way. Opposite leg, so that leg is going that way. No. Nice job, good. And then transfer, and then throw it here and then transfer each time, open stance, closed. So those are the six positions. Starting here for good balance, don't really throw it. <laughs> okay, so let's count. One, two, to the side, three, transfer each time, four, good, open stance, five, Bring it in, six. six. One more time, so position yourself. Ready? One, One. Two. two, to the side. Three. Three, to the side. Four, Four. open stance. Five. Five, bring it in and six. six. Super job, all right. We'll find these later. Right now we're just gonna put them right in there. And we're gonna turn in the chair so that our feet are still about hip width apart, but we've got that front chair in the middle of our feet. The hand on the inside holds the chair. The outside arm and leg extend in opposite direction. Good, grab the rope, bring it towards you, round the back, tuck the chin, make your hand a fist. Again, stretch it out. Nice job. And then curl it up. We've got two on the other side to do as well. So we turn chair leg in between our feet. The hand that's close to the back holds the frame, allowing you to reach further than you thought you could. Stretch those hands, good. And then grab something, Terry, and pull it in. Good, one more time, reach for it, nice job. Curl it up. And sit tall, super. And we come back into this position for chair lift. We don't need anything right now, we just need to know that our weights are on the floor underneath our seat and our hands right here. So it's all about upper body, not legs. So we're gonna lift ourselves off the seat using our chest and our arms and our core. So come forward and lift yourself up. One, yeah, two, two three, three, four. four. Good job. Five, Five more. Six, six <laughs> seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Eight. And down. Bring it into a closed position and the feet and knees touch. And now we're gonna be out just a little bit more toward the front of the chair. Holding on, we're gonna lean back and the core is tight, knees to the chest and down. One, One two, two, good, three, three four, four, yeah, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, nine, nine, 10, nine. and down, super. So catch your breath, have some water if you need it. And again, we're back into this position. So 
arms out. Toe touches right and left. Don't drop the arm, but raise the leg so it's up. And two, two and two, good, three, three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and good, eight, and nine, and that's it, ten, and back into this position. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Forward in the chair just a little bit more. More of that leg is now off of the seat, sitting high on those sit bones. Legs out for some more toe touches. This time they're on the floor. So arms extend from the shoulder, the hands together, if you want, kind of forming that little arrow. Reach forward first, drop down and touch that foot. One, bring it up, good. Two, Two. three, three. Four. four, excellent. Five, and come up. We're gonna put the other foot on top. Try to keep your feet on the floor. And again, tall in the chair. Reach forward and down. It's one, two, two. good, three, three, four, and last one, five. five. And there, so separate those feet and uncross the arms back into this position. Tall in the chair, take a deep breath. and exhale. You know what we haven't done in a long, long time is any voice. It, it just came to me just now and it's going to be hard wearing new masks, but we'll try. So, so we're going to take, this is totally not in my outline today, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> we're going to take a deep breath and then when I say go, we let it out. And it, you don't have to be a good singer or anything. We're just going to go, ah, uh, but as long as you can. So clear your throat. Take a deep breath through your nose. Ah. Uh. that again so when we do this it's loud okay so I know it's hard with this but we're gonna do it one more time take a deep breath through the nose oh. the muscles, the large muscles get stiff and become hard to move, but so does your throat. So use it. Use your outdoor voice. And sometimes when you're talking louder, it's like, well, you don't have to be mad. <laughs> it kind of changes that feeling, but use your voices. So um, that was kind of fun. We'll do some facial stuff some other time, but right now just extend the arms, those shoulders relaxed and the hands dropped and then flex pull them Two, back three, three four five. five make a fist and One, drop and lift two, two good three four five. five the fingers out and arms crossed they rotate so the palms are together and the fingers are locked the arms extend overhead working within your range of flexibility pull them back Good. And down. Good. Again, pull them back, back, back. Good. And down. And we've got one more. Stop halfway. Place the other one on top and lock in those fingers. Relax the shoulders. Extend the arms overhead. Pull them back. Good. Drop it down. Good. Pull them back and down and the last one back and down and shake them out good job 
Think of your posture, sitting tall in the chair. That certainly helps to strengthen the core and also to help you breathe. So the arm is out. We're gonna bend at the elbow, place that hand on the opposite shoulder, but lift this one up so that the hand is right there on the elbow. Then you wanna push it back. Good. Try the other one. Bend at the elbow, place it on the opposite shoulder. Don't let this droop, but lift it up. So push it back. Good job. And they're out. Close them, open, Two, close them, three, open, close and four, open. And five. last one. And then we're gonna make a, a little claw hand and a very tight fist. Drop it down and lift it up and slowly open. Good. Shake them out. One of my least favorites. Isolating the fingers and thumb. It's funny, you know, you usually don't like things that you're not great at. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Shake them out. Just one. A good stretch for that hand. Pull it down. Good. And then fingers up. Pull them back towards you. The other hand comes up. We're going to stretch it. And then fingers up. Pull them back. And again, shake it out. They're out. Shoulders are relaxed and it's a rotation. It's a soft hand, but it's palms up, palms down, palms up and down. One is up and the other is down. Lift it. Good. Lift it. Both up. Perfect. And tucked, extend them to the side, stretching the chest. Maybe they're so far back there you don't even see them. Yeah. <laughs> Good job and relax. Whew. Take a deep breath. We've got more work to do. So grab the weights, please. They're on the legs. An open hand on top of that weight, tall in the chair to support your back. Extend out a straight leg, looking forward, not down at your foot. Lift it up for 10. It's one, one two, two, good job. Three, three four, four. Five, five, get excited. Six, it's Friday. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Flex it up, one, down, up, two, down. Three, three four, four, five. five good. Six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Perfect. Ten. Place it back into that starting position. The weight shifts. Looking forward, not down. Lift it up. One, two, two, good. Three, three four, four, five, five six. six Seven, eight, nine, flex foot, toes up, toes up, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. It's been real, but we're done with you. So on the floor it goes, substituting weights for the tennis ball again. It's a handy little thing, and you thought we only used it to hang it in the garage, right, from the string. Ha! Huh. So <laughs> roll that. Wake up your hands. Practice good posture in the chair. Good. And then stretch the fingers apart with one hand, taking the ball and working it in between. Both hands. A fist, but a soft fist, so that that has a surface to sit on. This hand just resting. The arm extended, not here, but out. And you're gonna look forward, but take the ball to the side. Looking forward, bring the ball back to center. Take that arm overhead. Good job. And down. 
in a circle. Oops, okay. The other way. Good. The other free hand now holds the ball. We're going to transfer it. Looking forward, take that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> Good, to the side. Bring it back. Lift it up. Great job, and down. Both out. Pretty close to each other so that you can transfer the ball from one hand to the other. Good job. And then hold it. Your hands are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna just toss it, toss it. One directly over the other. Beautiful, all right. We're gonna put that back in the chair. Hopefully it'll stay there. And scoop back into the seat, if you would please. Keeping your feet still wide, but bringing them slightly behind your knees, engaging the core. And a lot of people are like, what? I don't even know what that means. Why is she saying such things? <laughs> that means tighten your abdominal muscles and press into that seat. The hands on your, maybe your hip bones or your waist, you wanna arch your back. Good, and then you wanna press into the chair again. Pull away from it and press into it. So engage those muscles. Looking forward, the legs are out, the feet are off the floor, it's a circle. Work it. Three, four, and five the other way. Five, four, three, two, one. And again, the feet hit the floor. They're still wide, pull them back. And just don't lean against the back of the chair. Shifting your weight from side to side, Scoop forward, walk yourself toward the very edge. Again, keeping shoulders, hips, knees, and feet in line. The arms will be crossed. Looking forward, keep your feet glued to the floor. We're gonna work abs, so lean back, bring it up. Good, yeah, it's harder if you're too close to that. And come up, good. Three, up. Four, and the hair doesn't count. <laughs> Five, I know what he was thinking. <laughs> Six, Six, and up. Seven, Seven. bring it up. Eight. Eight, beautiful job. Nine. Nine, this is it, Bob, go back and hold. Yeah. One, yeah. two, two three, three, four, four and five. five, all the way up. Hands are here. Flat back, reaching from the hip, looking forward, getting pretty close to the floor. Lift one heel, then the other, drop them down, alternating up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Again, up, up. Last one, up, up, down, down. Just the heels three times, up and down, up and down. And we are in a sit to stand position. Transferring your weight from your hip forward, nose over toes, we're gonna to do a sit to stand. So all the way up, good. Bending at the knee, the weight is in the heel, coming back into the chair and back into that upright position. Forward and up, nice job. We should be poster people for a class. Awesome. Three more. Again, transfer the weight and up. You're my guy. One more time. Look at you. Perfect. And back into it. Back into this upright position. The fingers spread apart. They're placed on the neck and the elbows stretch to the side. Twist, one wall and then the other. One more time. It's a warm up for a seated crunch. So as you twist, lift the knee to the opposite elbow. And, and good, two, and, and 
three, and four, and last one. Great job. All right, we're gonna need the larger ball. If you're joining us online, these are kind of the, the standard equipment that we use in this class. So a tennis ball, some free weights, water, and something about like that. So forward in the chair so that this can um, go behind you and not get stuck between your back and the back of the chair. So we're going to work shoulders and some good posture as we place the ball on our abs. And we're going to not lean forward, sitting as upright as you can. Make the shoulders do the work. Roll it around. Grab it with that other hand. Bring it again to the front. Good job. Wish I hadn't worn a white shirt, Mary. Oh, well. Thank you, Bob. And again. So this is a really important exercise to do, to work our shoulders. You don't want frozen shoulder. Yeah, back and forth. Okay, so here we're gonna just hold the ball, fingers and thumb off, the ball placed on the chest, the elbows are down and relaxed. Looking forward, extend the arms. Keep them at that height as you reach forward from the hip out as far as you can reach. Good. Come up slowly, extending the arms overhead. Keep your feet glued to the floor and hold. Bring it again to that upright position. Track the ball as you twist the upper torso. Beautiful. And center to the other side. Good. <laughs> Great job. And then this area, we're going to fill it with the ball, not on the knees, but on the inside. And the hands are on top. The feet, they're close together. Yes. Ta so bring your feet in and squeeze. job. Are you feeling it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Relax. <laughs> Squeeze one more time. Great job. And relax. Hold the ball, separate the feet, and we're not going to use this again. So if you want to put it on one of the many empty chairs <laughs> or underneath your own. So practice that sit to stand again. We're going to transfer the weight forward and we'll be standing to the back of the chair to warm up our ankles. Arms distance from the chair. If you're too far away and you think you're in good position, you're probably reaching. So you wanna be close enough that you can just lay your fingers on it. And if you don't need it, they're dropped to the side for Heel lifts up, down, two, up, down, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Great job. A finger or two on the chair. I have to come a little closer. <laughs> and the weight placed in the heel, lift the toes up, down. Without sticking this out, we want to just lift toes up. Four, five, five good, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Great job. Nine, Nine ten, ten, and down. We're going to do some lateral leg lifts. So. Dave, watch that strap on the left side of your chair, if you would, just be careful. We're gonna take all of this weight and place it more on that one leg. So it's a straight leg, but a soft knee. And this is gonna go out to the side and back down. Two, three, three four, four, one more, 
spot, place it wide so we shift to the other side. And it's eyes One, off the floor. Two, two good job. Three, four, five, and down. To the back, make sure that you have some room to kick a straight leg. Back to that first side again, it's straight to the back. One, two, two good. Three, four. Keep it back five. there. Bend the standing knee. We're going to sit into that calf stretch. Nice job. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. And come up, bring it forward. The weight shifts to the other leg. The other one extends to the back. It's up, one, down. Find two, something to look at, three, eye level. Four. Four. Five, five, and now bend the standing knee and stretch it out. Perfect. And come up. Kicks to the back. So you want to kick and bend your knee. One, and two, two kick and it. Three, three good, and, and four, and one more, five, five and eight. to the side of the chair. With your feet right underneath your hips, but most of the weight is on the inside leg. The hand is here, eyes off the floor as you extend the outside leg. It's a relaxed foot, straight leg. Up, down, two, two good, three, three four, five. Then the knee, lift it one, up, two, up, good, three. three. Four, four five, five, and down, super, to the other side. Placement's important. You don't want to be too far away from that. So right in line with the frame, the weight on the inside, the hand is here. We know the floor is there. We know our foot's there. So don't look down. Look out as you lift it up, down, two, two good, three, three Four. Four, thank you. Five. Five. Now bend that knee and lift One. it at least hip height if you can. Two. Two. Three. Three. Perfect. Four. Five. Five. And down. And we're going to do a little balance. It doesn't need that. No distraction. So um, catch your breath. And we'll be standing to the back of the chair. No need for equipment. But we are going to practice those five positions. So. Our feet are apart, and if you don't need the chair to hold on to, the arms are just dropped. Shoulders are relaxed, straight legs, but soft knees. The eyes are open. Close your eyes. Use the chair if you need it. Open your eyes, and if you don't need to grab the chair, try not to, but bring your feet together in what we call that closed position. Not the safest, Mary, ever. No, not great. But if you know that you've got your chair right there, you can always grab it. So eyes open, don't lock your knees, but stand tall. Close your eyes. And open, super. Separating your feet again, very nice. A little bend in the knee this time. A slight bend in the knee, like barely, good. Close your eyes. Open your eyes and bring your feet into a closed position. Straight legs and then bend a little, a little, tiny bit, and then close your eyes. And open. That feels a little different, doesn't it? <laughs> so use the chair as you separate your feet. And let's come to the side so we can still face this way. 
we're going to go into a split step. So our feet are wide and our weight is on the inside leg. So shift your weight to the inside leg, the hand here. Take outside step forward, staggered position. The weight should be right in the middle, right in the middle of those feet so you can lift your heels up. The hand on the chair, focus, focus forward. Keep maybe just a finger or two or none at all if you feel safe. Use it though. Close your eyes. And open. Boy, my balance is bad today. Hand on the chair. We're going to slide this in line into a semi tandem. I ask that everybody keep their hand on the chair. Again, find center. Hands on the chair, eyes off the floor and then close your eyes. Keep your hand on the chair. Super, and open. Separate your feet, we come to the other side. It's good to challenge your balance, but in a safe way. Don't take any risk. So again, your weight is placed on the inside leg, the hand is here. It's a split step, there. The weight we know is in the middle because we can lift our heels off the floor. Find something to look at, at least eye level. Use the chair. Close your eyes. Open your eyes, place your hand on the chair, shift this over semi-tandem. One foot directly in front of the other, about this much space between the two feet. It's not touching, it's out, and you're in the middle. Good. Hands on the chair, eyes off the floor. We're going to close them in a second, so focus first, and then close. Good, and open your eyes. Awesome, and back in, yeah, that is, that is a scary thing sometimes. So make sure that you practice those and that we are in a safe place. Is there anything on the other side of that? It's empty. Empty, okay, okay. Getting the tables, okay. Well, please be careful if you choose to use the other room. Otherwise, you can stay right in your chair, keep in motion, or around your chair. It's the cardio portion, which is always fun. 1970. <laughs> that goes a ways back. Let's see what that is. Get me home. 
never um, a large part of my programs, but it's an incredibly important part of any exercise program. Um, you should have some components like stretching and balance and strength training and cardio. All of those make for a good program. So reach down and grab your favorite weight. If you don't have one, I'll find one for you. <laughs> so sit tall, wrap the fingers and the arms are overhead, the shoulders are relaxed. We're gonna reach forward with a flat back from the hip. So reach and drop it. One, uh, up, oh, I need you to count. Two, two. Uh, <laughs> up, good, three, three. Uh, up, four, four. up, five, five. up, six, six. up, Seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up. Perfect. And on the floor. Is it just me or does this class just like go fast? Yeah, it does go fast. It's crazy. I'm hoping you'd say it like, no, it's forever <laughs> slow. Ah! Okay. That wouldn't be good. Now you have your phone. Great. <laughs> it's cool down, so sit tall. Take that deep breath through the nose. And out slowly through the mouth. All of it. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Exhale. And drop the chin to the chest. Raise the head. And listen to that shoulder. Center and down for a slow head circle. Change the direction. Full rotation all the way around. Chin to the chest and looking up. Stretch it. Chin to the chest. And center, the shoulders roll forward. Up. Pull them back. Good. Press them down and then circle. The other way. Back to that position again. The arms are out, but palms up. Place the hands on the shoulders, the elbows touch and stretch. Touch and stretch. One more. Touch and stretch. Pull it back and then fold them. Rotate the arm and the shoulder. Like you're turning a doorknob. Yeah. And then give yourself a big squeeze. Tuck your chin. And then open the arms as wide as you can. Place the other one on top. You're the last Join us as we say A-E-I-O-U. Use your facial expression and your voice. A-E-I-O-U. One more time. A-E-I-O-U. <laughs> Thank you.
you. Go out and make it a great day. Be happy, be healthy, be safe, and be kind.